Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I'll be presenting our research paper, Higher Education Now Marketing Components to Attract International Students to the Philippines. This is the contents of our presentation. Globalization and internalization. Globalization and internalization led to the creation and implementation of business theories for higher education. Due to the global market expansion, countries like the United States and the United Kingdom started recruiting international students. Also countries with growing economies like Japan, India, and Australia, and China, actively began researching and developing strategies to actively recruit qualified international students. As we all know today, education in many countries has formed an education industry chain. In other words, the school can also become a profit-oriented organization. The Philippines can also learn the business theory of higher education development uh, into the country's education industrial chain and form its own higher education market. As a country where English is a second language, the Philippines has become a popular destination for learners. More and more overseas students are attracted by the educational advantage of the Philippines. In the past 10 years, the number of overseas students in the Philippines have gradually increased. However, the student retention still be a problem that bothers some universities. The situation becomes slightly different under the influence of the pandemic in 2020. According to the data from the Philippine Bureau of Immigration, Affected by the pandemic and travel restriction, the number of international students coming to the Philippines dropped sharply last year. And the number of student visa applications fell by 75% compared to 4,785 visa application in 2019. Uh, only 1,254 foreign uh, citizens were applying for international visa in a uh, student visa in 2020. During the uh, pandemic period, some private schools experienced a decline in the environment er, enrollment rates of students. The school needs to make some marketing strategy to increase the enrollment rates of international students. In the last 18 months, our world has changed. We cannot control the states of the world right now. We can look forward to a better tomorrow. How can we attract more international students to the Philippines? Uh, our research problem to attract more international students, there are some problems we should figure out. Specifically, it will answer the following questions. What are the demographic profile of the international students? What are the key factors that influence enrollment rates? What marketing strategy could be proposed to attract foreign students? This article will explore the component of higher educational marketing under the mixed mode theory that influenced students' choice of enrollment in the Philippines, to be precise, uh, educational market. The marketing mix theory provides a 7P mold model, which includes product price, promotion, people, process, and physical evidence elements. We have the university educational planning. We have the cost and student 
finance, financing. We have the university staff and faculty, the university promotion. We have the create, creating relationship with the customer. We have the uh, customer satisfaction, universe, uh, customer satisfaction, university processing, and the place of the universities. So these are all the components of marketing higher education. But the research design, qualitative analysis and inductive method are used to explore the topic. Questionnaire has been adopted have been developed under the theme of marketing mix mode in, from previous studies. The sample group is targeted at international students, specifically studying in the Philippines. The research data is analyzed by Jamovi software for the students profile part of questionnaire. We simply tested a descriptive and gave our uh, give our the frequency table. For the factors part, since there are nine main team on like scale to one of one to five, we tested the descriptive and ranked it by the mean value of each factor. Then got nine most considerable factors among uh, the fact uh, which were chosen by the international students. And uh, this is our table, uh, student profile descriptive and the uh, ranked considerable factors. University safety is the most considerable factor that influences international student choice, which uh, yield to a mean value of 4.65. This is followed by the university reputation factors that mean value of 4.63. University educational facilities providing good quality service to students and faculty academic reputation are the next strongly agreed factor by the mean value of 4.41. Coming up with the six considerable factors, which is the which is quality of the university management by means value of 43.39. The next two contributing factors are the varieties of academic cost, courses and costs. Comparing the, the popular, the, uh, comparing the most popular considerable factors with the component of the marketing higher education that students care more about, the factors which come from the cost planning place, cost facility, promotional components. These components are the vital aspects that the university should pay attention when designing its marketing strategies. The recommendation, uh, uh, the, the findings show that there are four considerable components that mainly influence students' choice, which are the financial component, uh, teaching and learning component, promotional component, and facilities and service component. Given the four considerable components, a marketing mo model for Philippine higher education is designed. Some record recommendation strategy based on the four components have been suggested. Thank you for listening. And uh, we do have our contact email, myself and uh, the author of the paper. I'm, all, I'm the co-author and uh, please feel free to reach out to us for any question, suggestion or recommendation. Thank you.